The slope formula is used to find the slope of any straight line where we know two points. And it looks like this. m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. x1 and y1 represent the x and y coordinates of the first point, point 1. And x2 and y2 represent the x and y coordinates of the second point, point 2. I haven't labeled either of these two points on the graph as point 1 or point 2, but my habit is to, reading from left to right, name the first point that I'm getting to as point 1. So my x1 is negative 3, my y1 is negative 1. This makes this point 2, and my x2 will be 2, and my y2 will be 4. Let's try filling in the slope formula with the x and y coordinates of those points. The first thing I have to fill in is y2. y2 will therefore be the 4. Minus y1, which means minus negative 1 in this example. Then x2, which is the 2, minus x1, which is the negative 3. 4 minus negative 1 is equal to 5, and 2 minus negative 3 is equal to 5. So I end up with a slope of 5 over 5, which simplifies to be equal to 1. Now what if I didn't call this point 1 and this point 2? What if I did it in reverse? If this is going to be my point 2, then y2 becomes negative 1, and a negative 1 goes here y1 then would be this 4. x2 is negative 3, and x1 is 2. What happens is, my numerator becomes negative 1 minus 4, which is negative 5. My denominator becomes negative 3 minus 2, which is negative 5. And negative 5 over negative 5 also simplifies to equal 1. This shows that regardless of which point I call point 1 and which point I call point 2, I can plug the x and y coordinates of the two points into the slope formula, and I will get the correct slope either way. Regardless of which point I call point 1, the slope of this straight line is 1. What happens with the slope formula if we're dealing with a vertical line like this one? If I call this point 2, then my y2 is equal to 3. This is point 1 then, and my y1 is equal to negative 2. x2 becomes 4, and x1 becomes 4. When I simplify this, I get 3 minus negative 2 in the numerator, which is 5, and 4 minus 4 in the denominator, which is 0. I am dividing by 0, which is undefined. And this makes sense, because the slope of a vertical line is always undefined. What happens if we have a horizontal line, like we do in this example? If I call this point 2, my y2 is negative 3 minus my y1, which is also a negative 3. x2 is 4, minus x1, which is negative 2. Negative 3 minus negative 3 simplifies to give 0 in the numerator, and 4 minus negative 2 gives us 6. We have 0 over 6, which is equal to 0. And that makes sense because the slope of a horizontal line is always zero. These examples show how we can use the slope formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 to find the correct slope for any straight line situation where we know the coordinates of two points. 